chapter and the ninth and the tenth verse and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren and his mother called his name Jabez saying behold because I bear him with sorrow and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying oh thou would bless me indeed and enlarge my coast that thy hand might be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil that it may not grieve me and God granted him that which he requested. And God granted him that which he requested. Let us pray. Our most holy, our most righteous God, we come, Lord, this morning early in the morning, God, to seek your face, to give you praise and to give you glory and to give you honor. We magnify your name. We exalt your name. You're an awesome God. 
such an awesome God that you brought us, Lord, from a mighty long way. God, you brought us to this great church, this great service on this morning to uplift your name. And God, we pray even now, Lord Jesus, that you continue to move by your power and by your spirit and by your anointing. God, give me a word this very hour that your people stand in need of. God, give me preaching and teaching power that you might get the praise, that you might get the glory, that you might get the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep me to the cross. Give me the words for your people. Give me the words to say and the words to preach and teach on today. That I might not get any praise, that I might not get any glory, but all the glory and all the honor belongs to you. We ever thank you, God. We ever lift your name up. We bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all like y'all don't know what I'm talking about this morning. Amen. Somebody asked me on last Sunday. Amen. Will I give out any Jolly Ranchers? But I said no. Because some of y'all try to eat them in church while I'm preaching. So, amen. Amen. Certainly, we honor him today. We want you to turn your name and say, neighbor. Amen. amen. Wake him up for me this morning. Say, neighbor. Amen. Amen. The pastor's going to preach about. Are you? Untamed fruit flavor. Jolly Rancher. Amen. Are you ready for this? Amen. Are you ready for this? Amen. Part number two. Are you ready for this? Somebody ain't ready for it. Somebody is not prepared Unsane for it. Unsane fruit flavor. But you got to be ready for it. Jolly Rancher. Amen. You got to be ready for it. And so it is this morning. You have to be ready for whatever. But God, God you bless them for the evil get here. You enlarge their territory. God, you know, you, need, you don't need to be struggling like your mama struggled some 40, 60 years ago. But you need to be, amen, moving up another level in God. See, sometimes we live like we're still in the 60s. Y'all don't hear me. I mean, we look like we still in the 60s. We look like we got to hold our head bowed down. Amen. Shame to look folks in the face and let them know, amen, who child you belong to. But you ought to be thanking God that you're blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Huh? Don't walk around like you, amen, you got a chip on your shoulder. You got, a, amen, a burden on your back. Huh? But you need to walk like you're a child of God. You need to talk like you're a child of God. Huh? Amen. Don't, amen, let, let, let folks back you up in the corner, but let them know that you belong to God. Huh? I might not be where you at on the education scale, but I'm still a child of God. Huh? I might not have what you have. Amen. In society, but I'm still a child of God. Because my father is rich. He owns everything. And everything, God belongs to God. The earth is the Lord. And the fullness of the, the world and they that dwell therein. They belong to God. They belong to God. And you better watch out. You don't mess with me because God will take, amen, the wealth. The wealth, the Bible says that God will take the wealth, amen, from the wicked. And bless the saints of God. Why are you on your way, God? I have you to bless somebody else. Right. Woo! I'm trying to give y'all some nuggets here this morning. We got to be amen, awesome, and, be, and ask God to do something for us. The little prayer that he prayed, we mapped the boundary lines and impacted the lives of thousands of people. Amen. When you do that, amen, it, it just don't help you, but it helps somebody else. Right. When God enlarges your territory, God give you an appointment. God give you an assignment. God put people across in your path that you can be a divine blessing to somewhere down the line. And we ought to look for opportunity, amen, that we can be blessed by God. Amen. I might be going to Walmart, but I'm going to meet somebody I can tell the goodness of Jesus by. I might be sitting in the dot lot, but I'm going to tell somebody how good God has been good to me. You might be driving down the road and you got a little sign on the back of your car and say, honk if you love the Lord Jesus Christ. You might be at a family union and at a gathering, but you can tell somebody. The shopping mall, and I know y'all like the shopping, but these are divine appointments that God has laid across your way. And sometimes you ain't even got to know the person, but the person will come up and start talking to you. 
and sharing their life story to you. And then that gives you an opportunity to say, you know, I know the Lord can make a way for you. I know God can do some things for you. I know God can work some situations out because God uh, and the Lord move is the your tape, Move the rope. Move the cones. Move the barricades. Move the fences. Move the walls. I'm living large. From this day forward, I'm living large. I might not have a dime to my name, but I'm living large. I might not have a mansion on the hill, but I'm living large. I might not be stake every day, but I'm living large. I might not have the fences closed, but I'm living large. Because the Bible says to call those things, to call those things as if they were. I'm calling it today. I'm calling it today. I'm calling it today. God, God, do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, God. If you can't do it, if you can't do it, do it for me, Lord. Bless me, Lord, and I'll be blessed. Move for me, Lord, and I'll be blessed. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. I need you to enlarge my territory. Stretch out, stretch out, stretch out on faith, stretch out. 